everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren Dawn. In case you have never watched one of my videos, today I'm going to be doing a very short Bible study. Today is Sunday and I went to church this morning and I just want to share with you as an encouragement because I want my channel to be encouraging. Um, just kind of like a little recap of the, some of the things that the pastor um, today at church pointed out and something that maybe you're struggling with or maybe you just need to hear um, certain things hit home at different times and I just want this channel to be encouraging um, and I really want to share what the Lord laid on my heart, what the Lord spoke to me, some of the things that I jotted down. Um, so this morning's sermon was about giving um, and it was done in a very like tactful way. I know sometimes we hear giving and we think oh my gosh they just want our money. Churches just want the money. Um, but this was actually done as like what God's view and how the church should be giving and how the individual should be giving. Um, and it was really talking about trusting God with your finances. Um, it, they pulled from 2 Corinthians um, chapters 8 and 9. Um, those two chapters are written by Paul and um, it's letters to the church of Corinth. And um, so it just gives um, good information and just how to tithe and why we tithe. Um, and be, I mean, besides all the, like, the information stuff, I just want to come on here and say that not everybody has a million dollars. Not everyone has the most easiest financial situation. Um, and I just want to put out here, just as a small encouragement this week, if you're struggling with money, which I feel like we all do at times, um, that the Lord is, and this is something that they said, that the Lord is the best financial planner. He knows your finances better than you. Um, and how to give with a cheerful heart and how the things that God gives gives us and the abilities and the things that we have to earn that money um, are still his. Like he is the giver of talents. He's the giver of abilities. And we use those abilities um, to give, uh, to gain money and earn money. Uh, but then giving it back into the community and to the church and to people who need it. Um, just not being stingy with our money or greedy with our money, but really a, having a giving heart and it was talking about um, how you can have a giving heart uh, but if you don't have giving hands and you don't practice that then it's just a good intention and that was like ooh need to write that one down and I did write that one down um, so having a good heart and good hands and it was also talking about um, just because you don't have a lot to give doesn't mean that you shouldn't give um, whether you have a lot to give or a small amount to give it was talking about the attitude over the amount if the attitude is more important than the amount then there's no reason why you can't start giving right now um, and that is just something that we need need to, um, as Christians, realize that just because it may be a small amount, that small amount can go miles, he can multiply it, he can make it into whatever he needs to make it um, turn into, and it turn into fruit for someone else. And I just want to encourage you that just because, and you also don't have to have your life together um, to start giving. You don't have to have your finances planned out. We're like, oh, I'm going to start giving at this time. Um, just to be more aware of other people and realizing that God has your finances. God has everything under his control. Um, he gives you the resources to look into the world and see where it's needed. Um, so I just want to encourage you that even if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have um, a lot of things right now that you can give, that you don't need a lot of money, that a little can go a lot. And um, just knowing that God has your finances. Trust God that he will take care of you, um, that he cares about the birds and the flowers and how much more that he actually loves and cares for you, um, that he will have everything and he will give you everything you need um, to survive. He has a plan for you. You have a purpose. Um, so I just want to get on there and just come on here and just kind of encourage you for this week. And I hope that it does. I am going to read um, the last verse of Corinthians um, that we talked about. And it's um, so if you want to go into your Bible, um, you can. And it's from Second Cor Corinthians 9. And it is verse... 
uh, 6 and it says remember this the person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and the person who sows generously will also reap generously each person should do as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or out of necessity but for God loves a cheerful giver and God is able to make every grace overflow to you so that in every way always having everything you need you may excel in every good work so I just want to encourage you um, as you give, um, know that it may not be in more money. Um, this is something the pastor also said, when you sow seeds, you don't receive more seeds. You actually receive fruit and that fruit could look like a bunch of different things. It could mean more money to give, but it also could mean somebody's being blessed or something is somebody has food. You just never know what that could mean. So um, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope this starts off your week wonderful. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, leave a comment below of something you either need prayer for, you need encouragement for from this all the other subscribers. Um, if you need me to pray for something specifically, leave it in the comments below. Um, also give this video a thumbs up and also tell me if you like Bible study videos. Um, so I hope that you have a great week and I will talk to you on Tuesday when I upload my next video. Bye.